You can't predict what your relationship will be like and how you'll feel about your watch over time uh, as your watch remains the same, uh, apart from your strap change. However, um, how you feel about your watch will change. Things like age, status, desires, personality shifts, changes in your interests and hobbies and, and your job. And attitudes, they shift. Uh, for example, seeing someone you admire um, being supportive of a particular brand or style. Uh, as an example, I, I wasn't personally interested in Panerai watches. Uh, the brand just didn't connect with me. Uh, and then I saw that someone that did connect with me, uh, an adventurist and photographer called um, Jimmy Chin, he was a fan of Panerai. So all of a sudden, I kind of became a fan of Panerai. Uh, and likewise, I was a non-appreciator for many years of Rolex. Uh, and after studying their history and learning about their brand and respecting and appreciating their contribution to watchmaking over the years, my opinion changed. When I'm not working, I like spending my time with my family, uh, fitness and health, running, boxing, pilates, uh, learning and personal development. I'm always trying to feed my, my brain new, new information. Spending time with friends, uh, enjoying nice restaurants, City breaks, uh, being in the wild, I love that, uh, mountains, woodlands, forests. Watch research, consumes a lot of my time on YouTube and reading books. Um, golf, I play badly but I'm trying. Uh, and I love to barbecue for, for pals, friends and family. The long term goals I would say is to grow my watch business, uh, to spend some time with my family travelling around the world like a year or two. Uh, around the world trip. I want to help nurture and develop my children to excel in whatever they choose to do in life, to help show them how to self-learn and self-develop at a, an early age so that they can have a good head start in life. I started Prestige Watches because I've been collecting and buying and selling watches for around 25 odd years. So I already had a great knowledge in trading watches. Um, at the time, my other businesses were self-running and I had some spare time each week to start something new on my own, no business partners, just, just me. So I thought long and hard about how I wanted to spend my time, but I think deep down I actually knew it was going to be watches. Uh, because here, I had a real opportunity to, um, pardon the cliche, turn a passion into a, a business. It honestly doesn't feel like work. Uh, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life, said a wise Greek person a long time ago, uh, and I agree. So I started selling uh, loads of my own watches from my own personal collection and I invested some personal cash to, to get it going. I would consider myself more of a watch enthusiast and a watch professional than I am a collector. I've never really had the disposable income to collect and store high value watches, the kind that really interests me the most. And that's why Prestige Watches as a business allows me to satisfy my insatiable urge to experience watch after watch after watch, uh, to get hands on with the different styles and brands and price points and explore the huge world of watches firsthand. Um, I've not had the pleasure of retaining ownership of them, uh, but I do get to enjoy them for a short while and then sell them on to another watch enthusiast or collector. Plus, I, I love business. I love the thrill of setting up a new business and seeing if I can make it work. Uh, and for Prestige Watches, my goal is to spread watch happiness uh, and to help other watch enthusiasts with their watch goals. I think people buy from me. Um, I try to be an approachable guy that just has a genuine desire to, to help other people. I myself have a genuine passion for watches and the business assurances I give my customers is my word and my reputation. Uh, I act with the highest standards of ethics and values, honesty and transparency. And also I only work with other genuine, authentic watch dealers um, that have ethically and morally correct business standards. That's really important to me. I've been trading as a watch professional since 2017, but I've run my own global business for um, 25 years before that. Um, but my ambition in business has always been to be a trustworthy, honest and reliable person to do business with. I wouldn't dream of conducting anything other than excellent business. I like a simple, peaceful, happy and positive life with my family and this is why I don't deal with the nonsense of silly games or business misdemeanours or dishonesty. Uh, in life I walk a righteous path um, and try to sprinkle magic along the way behind me. Um, and in my watch profession, um, that equates to my watch goal, which is to spread watch happiness. 
My business values are integrity, dependability, honesty and hard work. Working hard all the time to protect my reputation as a trustworthy and reliable person uh, with a humble and respectful attitude towards everyone I, I deal with. Ah oh, man, as someone who changes his watches on an almost daily basis, this is a pretty horrible question. Uh, and I guess it comes down to whether we're talking about the one watch I could afford and could potentially own for the rest of my life, or a watch that I wished I could own, but can't because it's not available or it's out of my price range. But if I could physically get it, then that would be the, the one watch. Um, if it's the latter, um, then it would be a Patek Philippe Nautilus. Um, doesn't have to be a 5711, I, I love the 3800. It's stylish, it's iconic, it's robust, it's versatile. But unfortunately, for that watch, I can never justify it as a personal possession. If it's the former, um, and it's something that's affordable to me, then that's kind of hard, really. <laughs> it's a bit like choosing between one of my keys. Um, but to suit my needs, it'd have to be something that's timeless, versatile, being iconic wouldn't be a bad thing. It would have to have precision engineering and be rugged and robust and handle my sporty, adventurous side, yet smart enough to handle my love for the city life, um, but not black tie, um, more smart casual, nothing too dressy. Uh, so for the best of both worlds, from the mountain straight to a restaurant, I would have to choose This one, the iron fist and the velvet glove of the bimetal Rolex Submariner. Uh, and personally, I like the pre-maxi case. Um, I prefer the slimline look and feel of this. This would be my one watch.